And the Rhino Report tonight, what is being done to build more affordable housing in California? The state auditor told ABC 10's Morgan Reiner the state is on the right track, but he says a lot more needs to be done. And so Morgan has a closer look at what needs to happen to speed up the process. In 2019, Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order to prioritize building affordable housing on government-owned land. There's over 1.4 million low-income uh, renter households in California that don't have access to affordable housing. Acting State Auditor Michael Tilden said of the 44,000 state-owned properties the Department of General Services looked at, DGS did identify 92 state properties that were surplus properties and that can be repurposed as affordable housing. Unfortunately, to date, only 19 of those properties have actually been made available to development. He estimates that the remaining 73 properties identified could provide 30,000 additional units. They didn't always follow through and talk to the departments that own those properties to really uh, figure out whether the properties were conducive to affordable housing. He said it'll take seven years to act on the remaining properties. Adding just one more staff member could reduce that by a few years. They're actually doing a good job identifying state-owned property and they could do more. Matt Schwartz is the CEO of the California Housing Partnership. We need to produce roughly 1.2 million more affordable homes to get to long-term stability and to be able to end homelessness. But what that's going to require is to get us from the current level of production of a little over 20,000 homes a year up to one, 120,000 homes a year. Schwartz said the state needs to be laser focused on the issue. It's not that the administration's initiative on identifying publicly owned lands is falling short. It's just that it's not enough well, the Department of General Services says they agree with the state auditor and they will discuss the recommendations with the Department of Finance and see if perhaps they need to hire additional staff.